Chanta Bridgia is a full-length documentary of what it means to be chanting in community. You know, there's a real breakdown of that fourth wall. It's not a performance. The moment I walked in, there was this warmth and such a sweet, loving vibe. I can go to Kitchari Kirtan in any mood or any state of mind, and I know that it's okay. However I show up, I'll be welcomed. You kind of can't do it wrong. Singing for me, it brings love into the room. Kirtan's really special because it's about coming together, raising our vibration. All music can really be about sharing. And this That's really the purpose of Kirtan. So, so and when you do, in, in a group, now you're exponentially raising your vibration because the it's a compounding effect. It's not like one plus one equals two. It's like exponential. It's an interesting question of like, how does the work of a spiritual community interface with social and cultural change, benefiting humanity in tangible ways. You don't necessarily need to know the meaning, and when you chant and you start to experience the nectar and then these sounds, have an agenda, we just love to chant. People in the community kind of organically grew. There was a, a space of invitation for, and welcome for people to step in and share and to actually find their voice. It has deep roots in Indian traditions. Um, those devotional traditions, historically, um, were very progressive. They broke down barriers. But out, more and more people started to think, well, yeah, this is kind of fun, and this is kind of cool, and I'm feeling something happening here, and we find, but something that was really kind of integrating my body, my consciousness, and, and my spirit. I thought of chanting and meditation as this thing I do over here, and then music, is this thing that I do over here. Like they were, they were sort of separate worlds, but over time, these two worlds, you know, just inter, started to inter, intermingle in my own being. And now I feel like they're much more part of each other's world. I'm so excited about the Chantabrigia project and how it can magnify and amplify the statement that the Boston Kirtan community and the New England Kirtan community can make in the world. And it, it's really expansive. I mean, we all know when we engage in something that we feel is purposeful, we expand as human beings. You know, that's what heals, love heals. Mm -hmm. So it's not just mm -hmm. about connecting with the music, it's about connecting with one another and connecting with love. Hopefully everybody can take that practice and interact with, with their professional world and their personal world more from their heart, more from a place of compassion. It doesn't matter who's doing the leading, everyone's a kirtanwala. It's the sangha, the satsang, places like, uh, you know, Tamal and Shakti's Kichiri Kirtan where it's an oasis. Tamal and Shakti's uh, Kichiri Kirtan uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts is, is what we call in Sanskrit a tirtha which is a holy place because these beings, these sadhus and kirtanawalas have been here and the vibration, the high vibration. It's just great for the, for the soul. The reporter asked him, he said, they, you know, your people keep on chanting and what does all this chanting lead to? And he said, more chanting. It's a way of remembering the divine. These names in Sanskrit resonate and, and vibrate different parts of the subtle body, purify, and help us get closer and closer and raise our consciousness. It's just a primary practice that is extremely powerful. That this sense of spirit and the divine is within each of us, and we're able to go within and, and experience our, our true nature, which is joy, which is love, which is bliss. So you don't have to know what these words mean. You don't have to believe in any particular dogma. You just have to experiment. So, you know, I always ask people to just try it out, you know, and see what their own experience is. It's touching the universal truth through music. When the question becomes, at what point is music simply entertainment, and at what point is it something that's done for a higher purpose? Everything is vibration. The, the entire world is based on vibration. Atoms are simply vibrational objects. They're held together by, vi by vibration. The chanting itself is very approachable for people who are perhaps nervous about 
trying to sit and meditate. The kitchari is nourishing the body and the kirtan is nourishing the soul. So to be able to bring these elements together and create strength in the community, uh, the world becomes a better place. I mean, in all solutions, if you just look to the, to the heart and you look to kindness, so many times things can be diffused. Maybe they need to start a kitchari kirtan at the White House. There are no such thing as mistakes. There is no perfection. There is just the soulfulness, the giving, and the caring, and having fun with those moments. You know, we don't own this music. You know, this is, that's the operative word, is sharing. And, you know, with no judging, that's the key. You know, there's no, everybody's safe in this world, in, in the world of kirtan. We talk about trying to solve political issues with the arts, but unfortunately it's the arts that are being trotted upon the most. And, and that's also true in the schools. Budgets are being slashed in the arts. And I got started in music because there was a music program. And I do try to reach out to the youth to help them discover music at an early age and provide free lessons. And you know, it's my giving back to the community. So that's what we're really striving to do is what can I give back that's actually given me? So kirtan is one of those practices that brings people together, brings people into their body, it gets them singing. They say that the old medicine people used to ask the question, if somebody was ill, they would ask, when did you stop singing? When did you stop dancing? A story about how one man's quest for healing through music, how our individual pursuit of healing can impact an entire community through music, can connect us with this amazing network of other musicians all doing the same thing. An inquiry into how Sympathetic resonance and visualization can help the body to heal and the mind to relax. Chantabrigia is a music documentary about sound healing told through a lens of kirtan singing and kirtan community. Such a beautiful, heart-opening, safe, uh, enlivening experience, then that's part of the process and that's part of the inconceivable uh, ripple effect I mean, my teacher said, whenever you chant with love and sincerity, we should never doubt how many ripples. It goes right through the walls, it goes right through the ethers, and it benefits so many beings everywhere. When two or more people sing or chant together, it creates a powerful energy. It takes us right into the center, a peaceful, sometimes ecstatic state that stills the mind and opens the heart. When I saw the community that was gathered around, the musicians, the quality of the people here, I was really moved. That really made me excited to know that people really care about each other in this practice. This bhakti, devotion, there was something that really moved me. I wanted to be a part of it. Um, we see it just here and, and the people our friends. I mean, we, we see people come in from a hard day at work and leave radiant and smiling. We, we come together in celebration. We come together in times of challenge, month after month, the dedication. And we lay everything down and, and the chanting brings us together. And the chanting opens our hearts. It's about sharing it. It's about bringing it out into the world and sharing with other people. My experience in business has taught me that competition, where a win-lose mentality rules, has horrible costs. Over a century ago, Vivekananda saw that the real downfall of 19th century India was its gross neglect of the masses. How does America look today? The increasing gap between the haves and the have-nots is a real problem. Without opportunity, and a helping hand, people become desperate and isolated, grasping for what's easy and comforting. Just look at the crowded prisons and the opioid epidemic today and we can see the result of a society that has grown far out of balance. Chanting, on the other hand, as a practice, gives us a real uplifting purpose and because it is done with others, we grow stronger together in community. The individual is healing themselves. They're healing their bodies. They're healing their heart with spiritual awakening, spiritual activation. Kirtan is a devotional practice of colon response. 
It's about opening the heart and connecting with the different sacred names of God, which are actually divine principles or divine qualities of God, that when you connect with these principles, your heart opens wide and you bring these divine qualities or divine principles present into the space here and now. The direct bliss that rises up from inside of us when we chant these sacred names. It's a practice when we repeat a mantra that we exercise and create more and more of that vibrational frequency or that form we create it or imbibe it into being.